Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading re uh, recap. Wednesday, February 10th. Wild and crazy day in the market this morning, but had a lot of fun and hopefully uh, everybody learned something from, from the situation. Uh, ended up on the day plus $454. Uh, so came out green. Uh, this was a day where I had uh, I had visions of being up over a couple thousand and got slapped around a little bit by the flush, but still came out green, uh, plus uh, 454. So let's take a look at these. Nvidia on the on the mighty 90s took two trades, both losers. Nvidia minus 480, Tesla 525. Uh, did a pairs trade in the Russell versus the Dow when things fell apart in the market this morning. That thing kind of flushed with the with the Russell falling quicker than the Dow. It was working really well until that happened. Uh, positive P&L, but uh, ended up just flushing out. So took a loss on that, minus 200. And then on the runners, a uh, fantastic day for the runners, plus 1,659 on the runners. Uh, Boeing was a loss, got caught in the flush, minus 568. Beyond a winner, plus 199. DKNG, my biggest loser, uh, another one that got caught in that flush lower, minus 834. Nice winners, though, in MU. Netflix, my big winner, NVIDIA for plus 1,775, and Zoom, 385. So if we take a look, start with the mighty 90s. Uh, starting with NVIDIA, in fact, I'll go over the NVIDIA for both the mighty 90 and the runner together because they, they happen quick. So what we did here is we had this initial push up, nice, nice spike in volume. So we got short right here at the pivot looking for a rollover. This thing just really pushed up and spiked a huge vol volume bar, which corresponds with our uh, a vol a volume runner strategy. So as soon as this price came down to this pivot, I just bailed on my shorts, cut out and took a loss. So that was a $480 loss on the Mighty 90. And I immediately turned around and got long for an upside runner. And, and just, I mean, this thing just flushed higher. I scaled up as I went out. I got out of my last one right at the top here. So just booked a fantastic winner on that runner. Uh, Tesla. Tesla did a mighty 90. And this is uh, this is when they got caught in that the market flush as well. And kind of the same thing except for, for the opposite of Nvidia. And this thing was pushing lower had nice, nice volume spikes. Um, I think I got long here and then I added right here, got out of some of it. And then when it came back down to this pivot, I added again. And then right after that, this big massive volume bar came, which signified that we were potentially going to get lower prices. So when this little bounce happened here, I just bailed, took a loss. Now I know some of the people in the community turned around and got short here, very similar to the way I turned around and got long in NVIDIA. Uh, I did not. I just got out of my, got out of my longs. Uh, would have been a fantastic short had I had I done the same thing here, but flush lower. So ended up taking a loss in Tesla. On to the runners, on to the good stuff. Uh, well, starting with Boeing. Boeing was a loss. Uh, so if you take a look at Boeing. Had this big, massive volume spike. So we were looking for a pullback and to get long at a continuation. Pulled right back to the unchanged mark for the day, which is typically a pretty pretty good entry point. Uh, and, and I was looking for a continuation higher. That's when the market just flushed. And so as it kept going, kept going, uh, and then we caught this bounce up, I just bailed. The whole dynamics of the market had changed at that point. Uh, so I wasn't looking for a continuation higher. So I just bailed, which ended up being a good exit because it kind of trailed off the rest of the day. So it took a loss of 568 on that one. Beyond plus 199. So Beyond had a nice massive volume spike here. Uh, when it pulled back, I got long. When it popped up, I got out of some of it. When it came back down uh, right here, I reloaded at this pivot and caught this big bounce up. Got out of a bunch of it there, but still held on to some. And when it continued to, to flush down with the rest of the market, I ended up bailing on the rest right here, but still booked a profit of 199 And then my biggest loser, DKNG, uh, this is one that got caught in that the downdraft as well. So on this big volume spike, I was looking for a pullback, got it here, added a little bit here and was hoping for a bounce. And then that's when the market fell apart and just started flushing. So I ended up just cutting my losses after we got that bounce right here, took a loss on that one. MU is a nice winner. Uh, MU is weak all day. This is a, a, a runner as well. And we took this one right out of, this is actually our first trade that we entered. So on this big flush down, second bar got a big massive volume. So on this little bounce, 
uh, got short right here and then added right here at yesterday's high. Uh, and it was a fantastic trade. This thing just flushed down. I got out of um, most of it right down here at the pivot and then held on to a couple contracts as the market was falling apart. Thought we might get some more downside and we sure did. So I, I, I cut a nice one there. Now, after, uh, after the market flushed again, oh, I got back in right here and caught this flush lower and then and got out of some. And then when it bounced again, I was anticipating maybe we'll see some more downside in the market. So I, I loaded back up on some contracts here to get short uh, when it started just kind of chopping around and then pushed higher. I just, I just bailed on the rest of them, but still booked a $517 winner on MU. Uh, let's see what's next. Netflix. Netflix was a, an upside runner. It started out initially weak and then made this big push up with big volume. So on this little pullback here, got long, it bounced hard. I got out of three quarters of my position up here, had a really nice profit. And then the remaining couple of contracts, I held on looking for a continuation higher. And again, that's when the market fell apart. So I gave back some on this flush lower when it bounced up. Got I shed the last couple of contracts, booked 185 on that one. Uh, I already showed you NVIDIA. And then lastly, Zoom. So Zoom, after the market had kind of fallen apart, we were looking for some potentially weak stocks uh, that might have some more downside. And so after this flush, uh, the market bounced up right here. So I got short in Zoom and caught this, caught this move lower here and, and, and closed out. I didn't get the whole move here all the way down, but I, I get out, got out of my last piece right here at this pivot for a $385 profit. So Definitely gave some back on that flush because I did have several long positions, but you never know when those things are coming. And that's why position size is so important. Still came out with a nice green day of 454 and uh, look forward to build on that tomorrow. See ya.